What do you do when you actually get well, suspected malware on your computer? A lot of times the antivirus goes ahead and quarantines that and puts it in a special place. But once it's done with that, you normally don't actually deal with it any longer. But what if you did need to find out what it was about? The only thing that you actually need to do is find a sandbox. And there's actually a perfectly good one online that you can use to help you to find that out. Let's take a look at my computer and that will help us out here. So I have a file that I suspect is going to be some type of malicious software inside of this folder that I've went ahead and extracted. And once I do that, I also just go over to a website. And on this website, it is www.hybrid-analysis.com. This is a free site that you can go to and you can read all about it right here. And what it's doing in the background is running its own sandbox. This means that it will take the file, it will go ahead and run the file on a machine that you shouldn't run it on and allow us to actually see what happens when that file is run and then it will generate an analysis report for us so that we can take a look at that report and figure out what it's doing. So all we have to do is select file and then I click on the select file button. Once I do that, I select desktop and inside that questionable folder, I can select my suspected file and it's a .exe here. I click open. At this point, I will have to type in the captcha. And once I do so, I simply select what I believe that the analysis environment should be. Since it's an exe, I know that that means it's probably going to be a Windows 32-bit uh, file is what's going to be happening here. I don't really have to uh, do any other additional comments here. I just have to consent to it and I don't worry about sharing it with the rest of the community unless I really suspect it's uh, something that may be brand new. I generate a public report. It might take a few seconds or it might take a minute or so, but once it's done, we will get a nice report from a sandbox environment that will show me what the incident response is. What indicators are there that this is actually a malicious file? And you can see that there's actually quite a few indicators that are available. As I continue to scroll down, you can even see suspicious indicators. And there's even more about environmental awareness, as well as installation and this persistence. Continue to go on, and there's even more information. All these, of course, ultimately lead to a file details that will also give you the hash value of this. And that way, you can go ahead and do a little bit more analysis and figure out what this file is about and what harm it could cause your computer. To learn more about these topics or to actually kind of learn more about IT anywhere that you actually need to in your life, go ahead and check out itpro.tv.